There's a cavern or a cave plastered to the side of a mountain, basically around the southeastern tail end of Sheep Range here. That's probably not the M cave though. A lot of candidates, but not the real M cave. Okay, so we're at the pretty much the edge of pine nuts. Actually, that wasn't the very end of pine nut, where the, the where basically the campsite at the end of pine nut. So it could have gone just slightly a few steps more. All right, even closer than before. Had to go back, put some long pants on by the camera. Uh, just kidding. And uh, basically a little closer at the edge of pine nut. Let's proceed to the peak. Now it has been a consistent lifetime thing. There's usually a smart way to do things, but we don't consider ourselves smart. This is a lot of dense vegetation. We'll see what happens. Can you, can someone easily get lost out here? Lose their bearings and die? In our opinion, very easily. If you don't have many redundancies, if you don't know the area, if you, in plain English, don't know what you're doing, you gotta stay out. To loosen your bearings, place out here, it can and will kill you. So never just rely upon your sense of judgment or pride alone. Wilderness can kill you. Wilderness can definitely kill. Looking at the ridges and ravines, we think we know how we want to do it. There's multiple ways to slice a, a cake. And when we try to say to Jeff Claw, yes, a fresh body could possibly, potentially lay out in vegetation and not be seen. You can see very dense vegetation. You think a helicopter hovering above is going to see a body lying out here? Don't mean to sound creepy. So as it relates to the search and recovery of Kenny Veach, theoretically, in our opinion, can a body lay in vegetation and not be seen? Quite possibly. It is macabre, but sometimes our teams, they will rely upon, for example, nature. Telltale signs of body might be, it's macabre, but basically, um, the birds of prey circling overhead. Now, these parts are pure remote. There's no footprints. Maybe we'll find footprint of bighorn sheep. Very rarely, mountain lion. In the wild. Now, clearly, this seems to be a place where water flows downstream. And this could represent a potential smoother path. But places where water flow can be dangerous after a rain, so be mindful of that. Fire pit in the middle of nowhere. Okay, there are other adventurers. It would be extraordinarily arrogant to think otherwise. So it goes to show that where Kenny Beach hiked is remote, but no. Let no one make it out to be like, I went to Mars or anything, no. Remote, but not, not that extreme. Clarification to that. So to the best of our knowledge, Kenny Veach never hiked in this area. What we mean is that in general, including the area that he hiked is remote, but it's not some extreme alien planet. No one should dare make it out to be like that. 
Uh, we'll go on about the spiel about safety later, but basically, you know, if there's if there's any rules against, you know, doing, you know, basically doing nature's call in nature, well, everywhere we go, guilty as charged. You know, do a, do do our thing. Enough, you know, enough arrest records in the past history of violence, you know, which we denounce. You change your life around. You're no longer that person. <coughs> Don't be fooled by the little foothills. Still is a long ways to go. Continuing efforts in the search and recovery attempt in the search for Kenny Veach, the broader search. This appears to be a highly aged um, animal bone. It, it looks like wood, but it's not. So let's turn around. You can see it, it's like a vertebrae or something. Yeah, that's a highly aged, some type of animal bone. Yeah, it's definitely not natural wood. Most definitely not. It is extremely helpful to be able to read the topography, to, uh, topographical elevation maps, so to speak. Yeah, it's very useful. Okay, our route planning was great in theory but unexpectedly, horrifically bad in practice. Yeah, if that's not a semi-solid ridge, we're, we're throwing in the towel on this route, uh, on this non-route. Okay, that was dumb. That is a clearer ridge. The one we're on is not. We always claim to be stubborn. Stubborn, methodical, never, no claims of being smart. Not from us. Okay, should be on a better ridge. That is not the summit. That That is not the peak. Um, possibly a false peak. Nearby peak within view, search effort to recover Kenny Beach continue. Those are a 10 warthogs. If there was a massive break in this ridge, like a major cliff, uh, that effort would have been for nothing. Sheep range, you are beautiful. The nature, the kami, the spirits. Om Namah Shiva. Om Namah Shiva. Thank you, O Supreme Divinity, Adi Parashakti, the Divine Feminine, and the Creative Force. In unity with all the Creative Forces, the Divine Masculine, Divine Feminine, Adi Parashakti, 
the power, the presence of all the spirits, of all the of spirits, kami, the kami of the mountains, the kami of animals, the kami of oneself, and the supreme, the most supreme kami. This is not easy. <laughs> Beautiful, mysterious cloud. It is indeed as walking with Kami. All around us, the kami, the spirits. All around us, they are right here. They are truly right here with us now in the present kami. This section here, it doesn't even look like rock. It looks like some aggregate cement, but of course it's a uh, regular rock. What's it doing here? Almost near Sheep Peak, you know. Okay, Sheep Peak should be straight ahead. One of them at least should be the real peak, not the false peak. Again, very slowly, very methodically. We always take our time. We don't really care how Late we get back, we have all our triple redundancies, whatever, but basically still making our way to the true uh, sheep peak, so it should be beyond a little bit. Right, it is kind of hard to tell with all the little false peaks, but that should be slightly higher. So, so-called sheep peak, true sheep peak. And peak isn't even summit, of course. Right about here, should be it, just about. Or actually that one, final one over, that should hopefully be the real sheep peak. Not the fake sheep peaks. You know, does it even really matter? That's the peak, this is the peak. What is that, just, what is that, 10 feet higher? So that's the real sheep peak? Come on. Okay, at about the real sheep peak, there's a piece of wood here. That doesn't look natural. That looks like it was manufactured. Okay, so we really didn't expect there to be a climber's uh, ammo box. Usually, like there's like a like a climber's log or something in an ammo box. Uh, basically, in the ammo box is pretty common on mountain peaks, uh, and there seems to be. Uh, that's definitely some sort of wire from something. Uh, that didn't come from nature. Uh, where's the USGS medallion? I don't see it. Hope someone didn't, you know, illegally take it or something, so... Shouldn't it be around here? Alright, we'll film it if we see it. We always want to show the marker. Where's the marker? Where's the medallion? That's proof of... Uh, so here's the view. Okay, out of curiosity, yeah, there's like a, looks like there's some type of, that's probably a log book and you can see old glory there. We tend to leave it alone, but just take a quick peek out of curiosity. And the, uh, what is that, NATO ammo box? It is back and secured. Alrighty then. So what we wanted to ask Red Rock Search and Rescue, when they were searching for Kenny VH, um, at least, you know, probably from the time, where, you know, basically around time he disappeared, perhaps even up to 2019, 
Uh, did they clear um, basically the ridge line, um, basically the area of the ridge, basically from Sheep Peak going south uh, along the ridge. So this is Sheep Peak after all. It is sort of elevated. And again, what, what we thought we would do is, we thought we would just be, you know, really speedy trailblazers, start working the ridge. There's no time. Okay, so we have to head down. You can see, uh, you can see Las Vegas back there. Maybe you can't see it on film, but we can clearly see Las Vegas. It's way down there. Um, the only thing odd are these wires. Uh, the climber's ammo can, that's pretty normal. And we don't see that USGS whatever survey marker medallion anywhere. All right, maybe it's here, but we don't even have time to look for that. Way, way, way out there in distance, you can see Lake Mead. It's really hard to see even with the naked eye. Again, this expedition just took us too long. We thought we would get up here blazing fast and start clearing the, the ridge. It doesn't happen that quick. If we start in earnest once more, we'll probably see to the other side of the range from west towards east rather than east towards west. We may push up on one of the ravines. Process of, of, process of elimination. Search and recover. Search and recover, find Kenny Veach, recover him, and and uh, and it's, and the whole thing would be done. Okay, so randomly saw this, um, most likely animal bone. Uh, it's too short to be any type of femur. Um, the small, the the upper one, could that? That can't be like a collarbone or anything. That's, it's in all likelihood animal, but we, in case we we try to document it, um, let's see, our unit ran out of um, charge because of of a silly mistake we made. So we're not sure if we can get the, the coordinates. So let, let's see what we can do here. Peace out. Okay, alternate coordinates locked. If this is anything, it, this is in all likelihood 110% animal, but again, just in case. All right, yep, that's Las Vegas, way out there. Beautiful boulders. Looks like it's water stained. Magnificent boulders and rocks. The rocks are also spirit. Spirit kami as well. Oftentimes people think of rocks as inanimate, lifeless things. No. A spirit is here. It's spirit. Listen to the sound of night.
the uh, topographical elevation maps come in handy. Be able to read the lines, it's really helpful. Las Vegas lights at night. Almost back by Pine Nut. Okay, made it back from Sheep Peak back to Pine Nut. That was uh, quite a hike. Don't underestimate it. Okay, made it back. Sheep Peak is not to be trifled with. There's no, you know, official trails. It's definitely not a trail running place. Never try to trail run Sheep Peak. It could very well kill you. And we were definitely over provisioned. Over provisioned, over prepared. So it's not a, it's, we're about to say it's not a friendly trail. It, there's no trail.